Here you are. I'm leaving this campsite nice and clean. This tent pitch comes with a rock. They should always have that so you can slam the pegs of the tent into the ground. Now I'm ready to load up the trailer. This is something I have to improve. You see, it's bent a little bit. It's just, uh, I don't know, one and a half millimeter thick aluminum plate. Why does one want to camp? It's an interesting philosophical question. Those poor Syrian refugees would probably think I'm completely crazy for wanting to sleep in a tent when I have a perfectly good house. Maybe it's the variation or... Well, it's strange actually. Look at that. A motorcycle riding school. It's really cold. I can't believe it's just halfway September. Very nice houses. This is so nice. Almost getting to the camping. Look at this beautiful landscape. Today was a lot of uphill, but also a lot of downhill. It's funny, you go uphill, then you go downhill, then you have to go uphill again, and your legs feel kind of petrified. It's because they've been rested and cooled down or something. You have to see the camping where I met in La Roche en Ardennes. It's huge. As a matter of fact, I unhooked my trailer from the bike so that I could use my bike to get around on the camping. And you have to realize this is not the only camping in La Roche Arden. There are several. And here is my spot, right by the river. Tonight I'm gonna fall asleep with this gentle sound in the background. A lot of battles have been fought here. La Roche en Ardennes, very nice town. I'm going to Barvo. Maybe you've heard of Durbuy. That's the smallest city in the world. I mean, the smallest place that has the 
the administrative title of city to it. Well, Barvo is the next town. It's uh, just a little further down the road. This morning it's been drizzling a little bit, but no harm done. And the weather forecast for the next day days is very good. Traveling takes you out of your daily routine. So you're using parts of your brain that don't normally get used. And that triggers other parts in your brain that are associated with memories, desires. So sometimes when I'm on a bicycle trip, I suddenly feel the urge to see a certain movie. And in this case, it's oblivion. First thing I'm going to do when I get home is see oblivion. Fortunately, I got it on Blu-ray. By the way, I think Andrea Riceboro is much prettier than Olga Kurienko. She's pretty too, but not as pretty. Nice little chapel here. It's been raining today, but not so much that it was a problem. I didn't use my raincoat. There was one shower that was a little intense, but I took shelter under a bus stop. Now I'm almost at the campsite in Barvo. in Barvo. It's just one o'clock in the afternoon. For the first time, might find something open for lunch. the center of Barvo. These are the most annoying cobblestones I've ever seen. They have like these upwards sticking points. Of course everybody knows Belgium is the place to be for cobblestones. But here they have the most annoying ones. The campsite in Barvo. This is what I like to do when I'm on a campsite. I read and I pace. Beautiful but a very steep little road.
Look at all the trees and the grass and the green and that little fogged up valley. Must be really healthy being here. Or not. Radiation. That is a nice farm. So when I left home, the weather forecast was bad for the next five days, but I barely had any rain, except for the second day. Then I called my mom. She said, you're in luck. The weather forecast is much better now. And ever since then, I've been riding in the rain. She jinxed it, the old woman. Anyway, now I'm between two episodes of drizzle. So to continue the philosophical consideration, what is it, what is it about camping? I think you're away from home, from all your stuff, there's not much to do, and you get bored a little. I think it's important to be bored from time to time. These little cars are very few and far between now. So my trailer is about 65 centimeters wide. I wouldn't recommend going wider. And then just a little bit on the road we get to this. Now I gotta go all the way back to the main road. There's no way I can take this turn and if I could I wouldn't fit between the railings. I'm in Hui now. I was here on my last trip. Up there on that castle, I was taking pictures. Now I'm just passing through. Or I could go to the castle, you know, flush the toilet. Now I'm at this campsite in Otep. Absolutely huge. They even have these little walkways. This is the kind of place where you go when you have little kids. They have bounce castles and water slides, all that stuff. Kim, you see, it's just getting light. Seven o'clock in the morning. This has been the worst camping so far. Yesterday till 11 o'clock there were children running around and screaming. Sometimes at night there was a dog barking very loudly. There were guys playing crazy heavy metal music. So I'm just gonna leave early because today is a very long trip. I have to do 80 kilometers. Nice sunrise. I was folding up my tent and saw this kind of scary little guy. 8.30 and I'm ready to go. So why am I doing 80 kilometers today? I want to get to a town called Balen. There's a very nice camping. 
and this is not so far away from where tomorrow there is an air show and I'm meeting a friend there so I gotta stay on schedule it's a long trip but I think the first 20 kilometers will be mostly downhill so mostly not like this <laughs> and then it'll be flat I mean it should be considering the geography of Belgium so that camping in Bowen is awesome though you're like between the pine trees and then there is an airstrip nearby where they fly gliders so you're in the woods reading your book and occasionally you hear like one of those gliders coming over landscape you almost want to sit down and make a painting not almost I do want to but I can't I can't paint stuff like that tonight I had cramps even though I've been cycling for seven days straight but yesterday's trip was a grindstone it was a constant uphill downhill battle this is a very nice neighborhood. There are a lot of orchards here. Do you want to hear the shortest fairy tale ever? Once upon a time there was a boy and he asked the girl, will you marry me? And she said no. And they lived happily ever after. I love those windy little guys. It's very nice, but it's always the same. It's beginning to bore me. Also, I'm a little over halfway, and I would like to find a place where I can eat something. After the endless cycle lane between the orchards, there's now the endless cycle lane next to the canal. Really boring trip today. To combat boredom, let's just make another tiny planet view. I'm gonna be like John McEnroe. You cannot be serious! I swear, if I can do a bicycle trip without a dozen roadworks and deviations, I'm gonna give a little party. Look people, I'm here. This is the camping in Balm. I'm gonna be staying here two nights. And this wonderful, peaceful pine forest. There's a glider. That sound is amazing when they fly over, it's like... I think that one is about to take off. That guy is holding up his arm to give a sign. And there it goes. Hi friends, today is Sunday. <clears throat> Normally I try to stay away from junk food, but Sunday is the day I'm allowed to have the munchies and have any amount of chips, hamburgers, fries, 
that my heart desires. So this is breakfast. Enjoy. So today the tent stays here and I'm going to see that air show. summer would end, I would tell my captain to sail to Australia, and then the summer would start there. Anyway, that was the air show. I didn't show much of it, but you need special equipment for that. Otherwise, the planes are only a black pixel on your screen. Very nice air show, perfect weather, lots of pretty girls running around. So that was the last part of my holiday. Tomorrow is just gonna be a boring ride home. This is the last day I am going home. This is the office of the camping I just checked out. This is one of the few campings where you pay when you go. Normally you pay when you arrive. Now I've got to go home and my GPS says it is 66.6 kilometers. I hope that's not gonna be a problem. I'm almost two-thirds of the way. It's kind of easy today because it's flat. But, there's a headwind, and it's been getting worse, but I think I can be home before 2 p.m. And here I am, back home. There was just one thing that I didn't take the time to do when I left. Weighing the trailer when it's full. Thirty four point seven. Twenty six point seven. Oh, my God, that is like approximately sixty kilos total. That means I have a trailer that's thirty kilos, and I take thirty kilos of stuff. <laughs> 